Deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty is performed in the keratoconus patient. At first we mark the stitches and then the center of the cornea. We mark the anatomical center, not the optical one, because we want to be on the safe side if we don't succeed with the surgery. Partial trephonation of the cornea is performed to about two-thirds of the depth with the Baron trephine. This is a vacuum tree fine. Then the depth of the incision is checked and with the 27 gauge needle bevel down we inflate the air in between the uh, cornea into the stroma trying to separate the decimus membrane. With the uh, the crescent blade, the cornea is dissected at about two-thirds of the depth. Then we inflate the BSS into the rest of the stroma, trying to make a edema and to thicker the stroma so we can safely dissect further on and also by injecting the BSS we try to separate the decimates from the stroma. We are using 31 gauge viscocanalostomy cannula and then the crescent blade to dissect the rest of the stroma which is upon the canalostomy needle. We slowly dissect avoiding the decimates. Here in the center we can see bare decimates already and we are trying to push in the cannulostomy cannula to the periphery to dissect further. Now we are dissecting the rest of the stroma perpendicular to the cut. It is very unlikely to perform a perforation at this time of procedure. Now we see shiny decimates membrane and there is some air in the anterior chamber which was inflated during the aera dissection. With the vect cell, we try to separate the decimus membrane from the button. The vect cell should be dry, and now we are putting the corneal button without the decimus membrane onto the recipient cornea. At first, we are performing four cardinal sutures as in normal classical PKP surgery. And then running 10 0 suture is placed. We are checking astigmatism with Meloni keratometer and we are adjusting the sutures. At the end of the surgery, vancomycin is injected into the anterior chamber. Pressure is checked. And this is the patient six months after the surgery with clear cornea and very good visual acuity with only one diopter of astigmatism. Visual acuity is 1-0.
this is another keratoconus patient where we inject the air downwards toward the decimus membrane and we succeed for the first time with our attempt to separate the decimates. This technique is Anwar's big bubble technique. The stroma is dissected and again we try to be very perpendicular at the edge. We have to use dull scissors for dissection not to perforate the decimus membrane. The wax cell has to be dry. We have to change a few wax cells in one stripping of the decimates. At first it is stri stripped off in the center and then in the periphery. The button is put onto the cornea and sutured. The sutures are put shallow in the donor button and deep in the recipient stroma so that the button is pushed backwards to the decimus membrane. Four cardinal sutures and one running 10 0 suture. Deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty is a very safe procedure, especially for the young patients, and it requires just one surgery for a lifetime of the patient because the rejection is very unlikely. Again, the stigmatism is checked, sutures are adjusted. This technique gives as good results as penetrating keratoplasty, but it preserves the patient's endothelium, and therefore, in the life of the patient, only one surgery is needed.